there. Welcome to Positivity. Yes, that is tea I have. I am on time this morning and I am ready to go. Um, if you're watching this in the afternoon, you can always use this card for later in the day. Don't think it's just a morning kind of thing. It just happens to be when I do these recordings. Um, I'm having some Rubios this morning. As we know, it's very, very good for you. Um, it's one of the better teas. It is a red tea. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, if you have your own favorite tea, tell me about it. How do you how do you take it? Cream? No cream? Do you like Thai tea? What, what are the different kinds of things you like to have in your tea? Um, I did have an announcement. Um, I am currently working on... I am currently working on a supplemental deck. For those that are um, not aware, um, I created this deck. Um, this is the Crossroads Oracle. I'll just hold up a couple of these cards for you. Um, the Crossroads Oracle I created as part of my um, Torchbearer project. Um, I wanted to create a, at the time there were no decks at all um, related to the goddess. So this particular uh, set of cards has some elemental cards. It has the epitaphs or epithets. It also has um, some of her, um, some of the objects that are associated with her, like horses and the serpent and so forth, um, keys. Um, all of this, this deck was a, a relatively small deck for um, when you look at other Oracle decks. Um, but at the time, there were literally no other decks uh, devoted directly to her. So I am currently working on some supplemental cards for this. Um, they will be included in the future decks that are sent out, but I'm working on that now, so I can't wait to share that with you as soon as it's ready. Um, we're going to pull today from the River Witch Oracle. This is another deck that I created. Um, it is available on my website at uh, nooseriverwitch.com. Um, and uh, it is directly influenced by my life here in the rural south. Um, it pulls together uh, the icons and the magic that was brought together in this melting pot, melting cauldron, if you will, of uh, the influences of the native people who were here uh, prior to colonization and then also to the magic and the energy of those enslaved people, those kings and queens that came from Africa and were enslaved to help build this country. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, some powerful energy there and um, I'm, I'm very pleased with the, having the opportunity to uh, pay my respects for their sacrifices and their losses and basically their abuse. Um, to create what we now call the United States. Um, so let's pull a card. Um, our card today is the River Witch. So I'm going to hold that up for you so you can have a look at it. The River Witch has three key words. It's mystery, adaptability, and intuition. So right now we are actually experiencing some residual flooding from uh, the Tropical Storm Debbie when it got here. It's Hurricane Debbie when it made landfall. Um, and the river behind us is swollen. I mean, it is full up. We can see it from our back patio. I'll be doing a separate video on that later today. Um, but that river is there and it's just brimming with life. It has um, the power to give and the power to take. Um, and that's the mystery around it. Um, the mystery is understanding that energy, that kinetic flow, when that water comes in, when it recedes, when it expands, and being able to harness that energy and draw on it. Um, adaptability is to be able to change how you currently are viewing your environment um, and then make changes to pivot um, to see what you're doing to fail quickly and then move on so that you can do something a little more positive um, the final word in this is intuition um, now is a great time of the month um, there's some mercury excitement happening um, it is uh, the moon is in its glorious stages and we are certainly ready to take advantage of that energy that's there. Um, you need to be able to focus on that information that's coming towards you, that's coming in, and welcome that information. Welcome those changes. Um, and that's the card for today. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. What do you think about the new supplemental uh, cards that are going to be included in the, River or in the, uh, the Crossroads Oracle? 
<clears throat> what do you think about the cards that we're seeing in the River Witch Oracle? Um, let me know how you're feeling. Talk about the, the flood. Tell me how you're feeling about these words. Um, I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Have a glorious day and I'll speak with you soon.